Welcome back. So since we now actually have more space in our create joke, let's just add a few more lines for each input field. So instead of it just being a single um, line right here, we're going to add multiple rows. And let's just add four rows in each of these guys. So we're going to pretty much just use something called the text area. I don't think, uh, it's not that easy to find in documentation. You can find input fields here, but there's nothing about the text area right here. You can dive deeper about the API docs actually, and you can get even more information about forms and text area and stuff like that. So that's kind of what I show, want to show you guys. So we're going to use the, the text area right here to have multiple lines of input right here. So let's just convert inside the create joke HTML file. Instead of input, we're going to make a text area. And we're going to do the same down here. Instead of input, we're going to make a text area. So let's save that. Let's have a look at what we get. So we're jumping back and notice now we have, if we jump into our create joke, we have at least two lines right here. That's better, but let's say I want four lines. Well, it's very easy because you can actually go into your text area right here and you can add something called rows. So I'm going to say I want four rows here for, my, for this text area right here. So let's just do that. And the same for this guy down here. I also want four rows down here. So let's do that as well. And there we go. Now it should actually have instead of two rows, it should have four rows available. Now you can just play around with that, but now you kind of know that there is sometimes more to an, an, an area than you just see up front. So try and have a look. Now I just press the input again and notice that you sometimes you need to dive deeper when you find uh, documentation inside Yonix docs right here. Let me just try and jump back a few times. I pressed the input field right here, but I noticed that it didn't say anything about text inputs as I scrolled through it. But it says a number of attributes that can be used to style forms can vary. So try and go into the inputs API docs right here. So that's it. Now you kind of have a text area instead of actually having a single input field inside the create joke. See you next time. We'll have more fun.